everybody else has a video, why shouldn't you have a video? It doesn't have to be one. It doesn't have to, I don't like planning these things that... I know, who's planning? We're planning. Plan. You're not doing anything. We're, you know, we're planning. Something space. on, a, on right. camera. I don't enjoy it because I'm not the kind of person that enjoys that. Well, that's fine. Well, there's going to be a presentation. I'm not too, showbiz. Your father adored your mother, and your mother adored your father. I don't think there was ever any problem <laughs> in their marriage. Elaine Wiseman means family to me because she's always there to always lend a hand, can always count on her to come in through for a crisis. E Elaine was, I don't know, she was. A happy kid, you know, uh, somebody you really like like to see her. And then um, when she met Manny and we met Manny, somehow or other, it fitted. Well, the woman goes seventy percent of the way, <laughs> <laughs> and the man agrees a little bit for certain things, and that makes a very successful marriage. They've been married for fifty years. There has to be something right about the, the relationship. Actually, so uh, any any man and woman who have lived together in peace and harmony for 50 years is a phenomenon in this day and age. Actually, and your mother and father have done that. They they lived in harmony actually for that, uh, and they deserve they deserve all the nachas they can get from their children too. So this what. What the children are doing from them now, as exemplified by what you are doing by interviewing his friends, etc., I think is the nachas that the husband and wife are deserving of and are getting from their children. Hmm, that's, uh... So, okay, when do you want to start? What makes a successful marriage? I'll tell you what makes a successful Bending. If it's not important, don't tear it apart. If it's important, cool down before you sit down to discuss it. But why do you say it's successful? Huh? Maybe it's, maybe it's not successful. Okay, what's, what's been going on behind the scenes? <laughs> <laughs> the success of the marriage is your mother. Really? Mm -hmm. No question, why? She's a marvelous, Best companion, best partner, best friend that anybody could ever have. 
That's the, that's the reason for the success. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find, catch me a catch. Matchmaker, matchmaker, look through your books and make me a perfect match for my Thing. I don't understand why it was exactly. The Shah Zedek had just opened up. I was one of the first rabbis to marry them. And it seemed when I was starting to do the Chazinut, everybody was very moved by it. I saw people, and uh, they were, it looked like they were crying or laughing, I'm not sure, in the front row. I def my first note. I went, and I noticed the whole front row, <laughs> they were so emotional, they looked like they were, they were crying so much they were almost laughing, you know, so it inspired me, it inspired me and I remember when, and I started to sing deeper, Dates on the Padma on the Highway there to I think Jack's place in Don Carlos, but I don't remember. I think Elaine, she's from a bomb that ever was. I used to I just laugh myself. Silly the 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 little things that get some people angry and she could make it into a, a comical situation. She she's got one of the best sense of humors and Manny, they're one of the luckiest SOBs I know. She got somebody that's good for laughs. I think the most important thing to last 50 years of being married is learn how to fight dirty. You know, elbows are good, knees are good. If you can fight dirty, you can last 50 years. Well, 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 well. Imagine many and Elaine 50 years. As a matter of fact, we're about six months ahead of you. We were in April the 5th, we did the 50th, so if you need any, any, any advice, we'll do it for you. You're probably wondering what this is all about. Well, let me tell you something, Manny, and Elaine, and Manuel Thompson, too, because this is the first wedding gift that we ever had 50 years ago. And this was presented to Mary and myself by Manny Wiseman and Manuel Thompson. And the thing still works. <laughs> and so the reason why we've had such a good friendship and relationship, Manny and Elaine, is because, because this machine is still working. It's almost symbolic of our relationship. I have an early reminiscence, and uh, I find it to be very upsetting to Elaine. But I, I have to be honest about this. Elaine, I slept with your husband before you did. Uh, this goes back to a time when I used to Wiseman's hair. And <clears throat> there was a peculiarity, and I'm going back yeah. to seven. Uh, there used to be wolves, or at least we thought they were wolves who were on the outskirts of Gimli and used to howl all night. Uh, the times being semi-depression, Manny and I were obliged to share a bed and a bedroom. And so we slept in the same bed 
And because I was somewhat younger than Maddie, in fact, I have always been younger than Maddie, come to think of it. Uh, because I was younger than Maddie, I used to cuddle up to him because I was terrified of the sounds of the wolves. And so I was, in a sense, more intimate with him in bed than perhaps you ever were. I, I have to tell you, in all honesty, he wasn't much in bed. I hope he improved as time went on. I first got to know Manny and Elaine in Hawaii. We were, Charlotte and I were there, and Manny and Elaine saved our lives. We had booked we into drowning. a Hawaiian village, and we had a dingy, dull little room with a lousy view. We thought we would walk over and see what was doing over at the Olakai. And lo and behold, we met Manny and Elaine there. And they told us that they had a wonderful accommodation. We went up and saw their room with the lanai and everything. We were very impressed, so of course Manny said, come on downstairs, I'll see if I can get you in here. Well, first of all, they really love each other, they care for each other, they, they want to do for each other. And it's, it's just a, it's, a, it's a wonderful relationship. Can you get a close-up of this scene here? This is very important. Okay, could you describe This is a picture of your dad and myself playing hockey on Redwood Avenue. In those days, both of us couldn't couldn't afford the sticks. And in fact, we used to play hockey frequently, and we used frozen horse poopy for a buck. In fact, I can remember being so poor, my folks had to cut holes in my pants so I'd have something to play with. Yeah, that was your dad. He was a marvelous hockey player. Didn't couldn't afford skates. Used to play with his house slippers. I still remember when she went to Miss Baker with a little tutu. <laughs> and, <laughs> and when she took there that, are pictures piano of lessons. that. Really, you two should have up somewhere. Yeah, piano lessons from uh, Mr. Ruddle. <laughs> She showed a lot of promise, but she always spoke at the same time that I was talking. It drove me crazy. So I told her, uh, why, don't you, why don't you go into painting? I remember Elaine once saying to me, if only I could just wear mauve or purple all the time. I would like to have everything in mauve or purple. Ah, oh. my name is Francesca Swan. Here at the Met, we've been trying for years to mount a retrospective of the work of Elaine Wiseman. It's been rather tricky. <laughs> There's been a number of people calling and camping outside. Every time there's word of Elaine Wiseman's work coming to the Met, there's such a huge outcry, I can't even possibly pull it off. People simply aren't ready for work of that depth. Well, I looked, I studied her artwork, and I'd like to give her a little advice. You know, after studying it, and I've seen Leonard Mole's work and uh, a lot of local town, I think she should start painting by numbers. We happen to be uh, a couple who get along well, and have always gotten along well, and we were able to see each other's point of view. The golden years, they are now, they are wonderful. You know, it just so happens both your dad and I put on a little weight. It isn't that bad, but both of us can take a shower without getting our feet wet. You still got that on? No, and Manny seemed to fit in right away. Uh, and neither of them, neither of them were. were we were Vegas with them. We wanted to see Tony Fields. Oh, yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. And this, they were all sold out, and at the doorway there was a huge big crowd outside there. And uh, Manny was at the back, and there was a fellow at the door there, and he was holding everybody back. And Manny took a couple of chips out of his pocket, I don't know what size they were, and he would say, <laughs> Wiseman! And this fellow says, oh yes, Mr. Wiseman, come right through. And he took us in, and we got great seats, and Manny and gave said, him the... How did you do that? Gave a tip for it. <laughs> You'd never do that, would you? No. I was living in Nipawin, practicing medicine there. And uh, 
we came down looking for a wife. <laughs> um, that's right. They, that's what they did. They came down looking for a Jewish wife. Really? And they found them. They made an effort. <laughs> they had lists. <laughs> they went down the list and dated all the girls on the list till they got one that would take them. When you first, uh, on that first blind date. Who could remember that? Who could remember what I was thinking? I couldn't tell you what I was thinking. But it was it like was it fun? We enjoyed it. So yeah. Was it like a love at first sight kind of thing? Or? I don't know about that, but I was attracted to her. But we've always had a good time, and your dinner is ready now. Before yeah. your folks became engaged, there was a young, good-looking Polish truck driver that used to take her out. My mother. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. What was his name? Klotka. Klotka. Klotka Esenicki, I think, was his name. And sometimes I think she should have married him. Your mom, I probably have to say, is my dearest friend, because I've never met a woman who is so generous and so good. Five or six, <laughs> couples, five or six couples we arranged with a dance studio. And once a week we went up and learned to dance the samba and the rumba. The samba and, and the dis rumba? And yeah, disco ask, dance, ask, my ask, mother. Ask your parents and, to show you And how. disco dancing. Because of my health. When I win, I feel good. <laughs> I think it was in his blood from the day he was born. Okay. This isn't running at all. Okay, so Mr. Sure. No, no names. No Listen, names. boys. This isn't something to go beyond this place. But I knew your dad from way back when. And it was a thing with Manny. On the Rough Riders, please? It was a thing. You know, he likes the way game. Way back, we were a team. Your father and I, we went in as a team. Money on Miami. Sure, doll. After a little while, I found out something about your dad. He's got no luck. The guy's just unlucky. <laughs> Every bet he placed, hafsalachas. <laughs> we were just down. We lost. He couldn't even get a tie. A <laughs> you... old man of yours couldn't get a tie. Couldn't get it even. Anyway. <laughs> Must have been a few years. I, I lost. I went belly up. I want six, I, six points, please. I went belly up. And then I realized something. Eureka went off one day like a light bulb. Just like a, like the sun in a cloudy day. I realized how I'm going to make it. How I'm going to make it in this world. Manny, I said, who do you like? Whoever he said, I went and bet the other. I started doubling up. I started having more money than I knew what to do with. I got out of Winnipeg. I left your town. How about 649? 649? I went to Vegas. After they were married a few years, we started going out socially. Uh, and one of my fondest memories was at the paddock when we sat down and had dinner there one night. And this Polish truck driver happened to walk in. It was embarrassing, huh? A little embarrassing. <laughs> was there a big scene? or? No, no. I locked your dad up in the men's room. <laughs> I think they both, you know, and they both enjoyed each other's company. Yeah. And they both fell over each other. And your dad always admired your mother's sense of humor. And the fact that she was very artistic and musical. And as far as I'm concerned, it was mutual admiration. You know, the two of them. Uh, Let's see, enjoyed each other's company, and even today you see it all the time. Yeah. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. How about from you? 
Happy. <laughs> happy what? <laughs> okay, V, can you do it seriously now, please? Happy anniversary. <laughs> and let's hope we celebrate many years in uh, in Naples. <laughs> and uh, what should be is from now until whatever light holds for us in the future, good health. More important than anything. It's also called a muzzle tub. And everything comes from the bottom of my heart because I love the both of you. Mom, Dad, happy anniversary. Uh, as I grow older, I love thinking back about our house where we all grew up at 848 Oak Street and how much fun it was to grow up there and the parties you would have with your friends and the, uh, the great time we had. Uh, your great parents, happy anniversary. I wish I could speak some Yiddish because I know there's a hundred different ways you can say it nicely. But I just wish them good health, long life, happiness with their children. And biz a hundred and sons. And biz a hundred and sons. Your father had a license with that on it. You know what that means, eh? Yeah. It's still there. What? They still he still has his license. Biz a hundred and sons. Biz means up in the well, hill. 120 years. That's what's on Apparently his Apparently, it's a biblical reference. I think that covers it pretty good. On behalf of Mel Manderson and his, my charming wife, we'd like to wish the Wisemans a very happy 50th. Uh, I just want to say it's been great doing all these interviews with your friends and actually getting to know your friends for the first time on a one-to-one -one basis and finding out a lot of stuff about you and Dad growing up and, and how... how uh, how much your friends think of you and how proud I am um, as, you know, being the product of, uh, you know, being one, being one of your children. I'm proud to be one of your children and, and, uh, and I hope I can live up to the same uh, uh, role models that you have been, because uh, you really have been great role models. Yeah, Manny and Elaine, as we say every year, BIZ120. He's a hundred and twenty. Standard wish. Like I, wish. Like I dress to them, to Elaine. Standard and me. wish uh, to Manny and to Elaine. You have lived fifty wonderful years together. What's the hurt if we hope for another fifty? <laughs> All the best and sei gesund. I'm stunned. Where did the years go? And oh, I wish them all the happiness and health and everything. Goodness, real goodness. We want to wish you till one hundred and twenty. And uh, you're the greatest couple, the greatest parents, and you've got the greatest friends. Thanks. Let's <laughs> wish them both what? A happy 50th. and 50th anniversary, anniversary yeah. to, to who? To Manny, Manny and, and Elaine. Elaine. I just want to wish them both a very happy 50th anniversary and for myself and all the cousins in Vancouver and um, hope that there's another 50 more together. Happy 50, 50th anniversary, Babylonian and Zadok. You experimented on me, and I was happy to be your first experiment. I had you all to myself for at least a good couple of years. And those are the years I remember so well. But one of my fondest memories is watching my brother Gordy when we came back from Florida, taking his first steps. And that was, it was, it was like having my own kid. Of course, I put him in the washing machine shortly thereafter, but uh, I can't tell you how much fun we had at Kingston Row in that house. Uh, Gordy and I sharing our room, all the trips to Florida, and then along comes Ronnie. Who could have expected something as great as Ronnie coming along? Playing piano straight out of the womb. And I still remember the day that somebody came to me on the street and said, your brother Bobby's born. So uh, you've given me three great brothers, and as Gordy has already said, uh, we could never have a better model for a, a couple who loves each other so much and who are such wonderful parents. So I love you too, and happy anniversary. Manny, yes, Elaine, um, lovely, lovely yes. to be your children. It, it, yes, really, <laughs> rather, rather, it is, it is quite a... Second that. Uh, yes, no, it, um, it has been quite an experience now, What's hasn't it? Like it like being a grandchild, dear? Darling? What do you, what, do you have a few words to say to uh, uh, 
Lord Robert is here. Lord Robert is here. Why are we asking her? Lord uh, Robert can speak for all of us. Well, I suppose, yes. Uh, would you let her answer anyways? What's it like being Darling, why don't you just say, give us a word to uh, Emmanuel and Elaine? Would you like to wish them something? Happy anniversary. Oh, yeah, rather. <laughs> so nice, <laughs> rather. Beautiful, rather, yes. Lovely. Yes. Shall we play polo now? Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. Quiet. <laughs> Happy anniversary, Manny and Elaine. Happy, Happy anniversary, anniversary, Manny and Elaine, from the Toronto Police Service. Congratulations, Manny and Elaine. Bye. Oh. Happy anniversary, uh, Manny and Elaine. Happy anniversary, 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 Manny and Elaine. Elaine, I remember you up in the lingerie years ago when you were a young chick. Happy and anniversary. It, and if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be in this video. So thanks, Manny. Thanks, Elaine. Have a fabulous time. Happy 50th. Do you still love me? I still love you. Do you still believe? I still believe. Our love will last forever.